Welcome back, everyone. Today we're talking about the best way to bathe your pet. And Miss Tommy Kirk Smith and Amy Shojai are joining me. Thank you all so much hey, for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, we're having fun already. And this, is, this, is, this is scrap iron, and I had bathed him last night, mm -hmm. and my husband took the pictures, and I sent the pictures, four or five of them. To Tom and locked up his email yeah. this morning. So <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> so you just have to trust it. Maybe Amy can post them on her website or something. Mm -hmm. That that uh, but he has a nice clean coat. Uh, what is something that one of the do things? Wrong? One of the things. Uh, if you start with a kitten, then you can start. You can bathe them and and uh, this. Can you get a close up of how I'm holding? I'm holding him. You see, I have a finger in between his legs. Mm -hmm. It's a gentle finger, and, and you can either work them in a, a little plastic trash can is neat for a small animal. Hmm. It's, Just it's to helpful kinda. to have a second person there as well. So if you have somebody like Tommy that's gently holding the kitty cat, you have somebody else that has one of the spray nozzles like yeah. in the sink that can soak them down. The, the real trick is uh, with, with these guys is not to scare them. Mm -hmm. They don't know any better right now. And yeah. when they're kittens, they're, I mean, you're the biggest cat in the world to them. So <laughs> right. they aren't going to argue with you. Once they get a little bit older, then there are some other tricks that you can do. But if you start them at this age, there shouldn't be, I mean, look, look how, how this guy, little scrap iron, is so trusting. So you can just handle yeah. mm -hmm. a kitty mm -hmm. of this age. The same with a puppy of this age. You do want to be careful about getting soap in the eyes. Right. So yeah, that's why I use the Johnson's mm -hmm. the baby shampoo. Is that the best kind that's, for well any baby shampoo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you well, try I, to avoid yeah. it, but just in case. Okay. Yeah, I kind of yeah. I like I like to recommend the pet specific shampoos for most people. Uh, yeah. Oftentimes the the pets um, you know baby shampoo is great for for human babies because human babies have very oily scalp. Mm -hmm. That's and true too. The kitties dryness. and puppies don't necessarily have that, so you just have to be sure you rinse, rinse, rinse. <laughs> well, very that's well. with anything mm -hmm. you use. You rinse, rinse, mm -hmm. rinse. But uh, a really good tip for either washing uh, any age dog or cat is soak them up yeah. first, right around the neck. Because okay. if they have any fleas, any bugs, anything you want to get rid of, <laughs> that's where they're going to run up to the face to get out of that. So if you hmm. put a little soap around the neck, that's going to stop that. How did you do and, this? Oh, yes, we got it. We got, got a little tangle there. <laughs> got it. But uh, as Tommy said, I really like the waste baskets or the big tubs for the smaller size pets. And what mm -hmm. you can do with, with kitties or puppies that have not, you know, that size animal that have not been used to it before, prepare two or three tubs of water yeah. in a row. Be Dunk ready. them first, Be ready. Uh -huh. just soak them up, get them all soaked up, and then to rinse, instead of using the spray nozzle, because a lot of animals are scared of that, then you can dunk them okay, and rinse them, get them as, as clean as you can, and then put them in the third one and have towels ready, have everything ready ahead of time, because some of these mm -hmm. guys, they'll see you run in the tub, they'll see you getting the soap out and the towels, and they hide under the bed and you can't reach them. Right. So right. it's a good idea to be prepared in advance. My size uh, animal. Yeah, what do you do with, with little <laughs> with, magic? With little magic. <laughs> little magic is nearly 90 pounds. Uh -huh. He's a German shepherd, and he, I swear, there must be some Labrador retriever in the word pile. He loves water. So mm -hmm. I take him out on the back porch. I hook his collar up to a stationary object so he can't move away and so soak him down with the garden hose in this weather. Um, and the trick with him is he wants to bite the water stream, so it's real hard mm. to get him all wet. <laughs> Soap him up, rinse him off. Very, you, very you straddle thrilling. Him, you straddle Absolutely. him all time. Yes, yeah. and, the, and be prepared. Wear old clothes because you will get wet. Awesome. You yeah. will really get yeah. wet. Hey, wear long you pants. You don't get scratched up, too. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> it's a good idea yeah. to trim, trim the nails on these guys first. But with cats, uh, most cats aren't going to need a bath, a bath uh, unless they get really dingy. They're going to take care of things themselves, okay. uh, but you want to get them used to it at this mm -hmm. age, so just in case. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. We really Absolutely. appreciate it. And you all stay with us a, a check of the forecast when we come back.